Hi friends, welcome to Opa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 8 in Azure Databricks playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about Azure Databricks architecture overview. So this is like a high level discussion of the Azure Databricks architecture, what and all the components it has. From our previous videos, you already know that what is Azure Databricks. If you don't know, please kindly watch my Azure Databricks playlist from the stretching so that you will get a idea about it. So Azure Databricks is a cloud service that will enable you to uh, collaborate teams so that means data engineers, data scientists, data analysts, everyone can collaborate each other in something called workspace inside the account and there they can make use of the Apache Spark clusters to do the data processing, big data processing and all right. So once the data is processed, they will load that processed data into some data warehouses or SQL databases. From there, Power BI reporting will happen. This is the general flow. So all this we have discussed already. So if you think practically from our, all our past, past videos, we simply created Azure service, that means Azure, Azure account, and then we simply created something called workspace, and then in the workspace, we directly started writing our notebooks. Okay, so this is what we did. Uh, but we have, and also we, we 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 kind of spinned up the clusters also, right? So using clusters only, we created that everything, uh, and the notebooks will be connected with the clusters and to to execute that logic but if you think practically we haven't done anything i mean there is no nothing backend installation or something we done everything was handled by cloud so that is what uh, it means so in the azure databricks what will happen right most of the backend services that need your data processing to work will be handled by azure databricks itself you only create the databricks account and directly focus on writing your notebooks to perform that big data processing that's it okay so because of this reason actually azure databricks operates on two things there is something called control plane and there is something called data plane so these are all the two areas which will contain in the architecture of the azure databricks so control plane is the one where databricks will handle all the backend services uh, you can think like control plane is something like azure databricks own account so azure databricks will have its own azure account in that own account it will have all the backend services that will make your databricks to run properly so in that control plane it will contain all your notebooks metadata and also whatever the workspace configurations you did and how you schedule your notebooks using jobs and all uh, every information all the workspace configurations and everything will be in the control plane in the data plane you will have simply uh, your data what you process all your data will be actually reside in the data plane only and this data plane will be inside your own azure account so you can think like control plane will be inside the databricks account inside the databricks account uh, uh, azure account and data plane will be inside your own azure account so the same thing i have uh, explained here also if you see this architectural diagram you can see this is this entire box whatever you are seeing this is like a control plane so and you see this control plane is in the azure databricks cloud account that means azure databricks as a service it itself will contain one cloud account so there it will keep all the control plane which will contain all the backend things what you need for your databricks account to work properly and you will have something called data plane and the data plane will be in the customer's own azure account okay so now what will happen in the control plane so whenever we open databricks it will open in a browser with a ui and everything right all that databricks ui is it is nothing but like a web application only right so that web application related information will be in the control plane not only that the customer created notebooks also will be in the control plane not only that in the workspace once you create any notebook you will schedule the jobs and everything right so all that information will be available in the control plane only it will be get stored into the, in the control plane in an encrypted fashion and also control plane contains something called cluster management so this cluster management is the one that will uh, make sure the clusters to run and everything right so by the word it is making clear right it is a cluster management system okay and in the data plane as i said data plane is within the customer network that means it is within your customer's cloud account and here customers cl clusters will be there and these clusters will take the data and perform the data processing okay so data processing will actually happen in the uh, data pane so this is this is like a data pane and also in the data pane only you will have something called databricks file system in our past videos 
in our past video the last video the seventh video what i what we did we 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 kind of uploaded one file into D dbfs right databricks file system right so uh, and from that storage we try to read the data right so dbfs is a thing like uh, for now think like it's like uh, your databricks account whatever you create that accounts own storage personal storage you can think like that in the back end what will happen actually that is actually a azure blob storage only within your own uh, azure account you, it will create one azure blob storage on top of that blob storage it will create a layer that is that will be called as databricks file system we will discuss about this databricks file system in detail for no think like databricks file system will be databricks accounts own storage layer where you can upload the data and then take the data for your data processing and all so this is databricks file system and this data processing logic and all and all and where your data resides everything will be in the data plane only and the rest everything all the backend services what databricks account needed to work and all the customer notebooks and the job related information and the logging related information everything will be stored in the control pane so and uh, yeah so this is like a single sign on using which any customer can connect to azure databricks so this is what the high level architecture of the azure databricks account uh, no need to go very deep into it for now i mean uh, if you get a clear idea like okay there is something called two things one is control pane another one is data plane control pane is the one where all the databricks web application code and also the customers notebook whatever uh, we develop and also the jobs related information logging related information cluster management so everything will be there in the control pane and this control pane will be in the azure's own cloud account and now second thing is customers clo own cloud account so here the data plane will be there in in the data plane only customers data will be managed completely data will not move to control plane so you, customer data processing and the storing and the connecting to the external resources and fetching the data and storing data to the external resources everything will happen through data plane only so to do that databricks have something called connectors actually so to connect to the external sources databricks use the some connectors using that connectors you can connect to the external resources and get the data or load the data to it so we will discuss everything in detail in our upcoming videos i hope you got a basic idea about the azure databricks architecture and high level thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i videos thank you so much